Good morning and welcome back to Sapa. The weather is still pretty awful here, lots of rain, lots of fog, but we're not going to let it in a day. We're going to head out and do some exploring. Yeah, we're going to head down to the Cat Cat Village first, and it's definitely one of the more well known spots in Sapa. It's about a three kilometer walk down a hill. I know it's not a village full of cats, it's well known for its natural beauty, and you should be able to see some rice terraces and stuff on the mountain. So hopefully, we will be able to see the views because it is still very foggy. Yeah, we did get told yesterday that apparently because the Kakat village is downhill, you should be able to see a bit more rather than being on top of the mountain. So, fingers crossed. We're on our way down now, we've just stopped at this viewpoint. Look at this, I was not expecting that. We've finally seen some views of the rice terraces, I'm so happy. Looks really cool to be fair. And we've, we've only gone down a little bit. I know, I think we need to get all the way down, down there somewhere. It's, it's going to be a long trek back up. I know. <laughs> it's very downhill. We just picked up some tickets and they've given us a map. We don't really know what the tickets allow us to do. I think it's just enter the sort of village. Yeah, we don't know if there's any like prices to get into these attractions too. We also don't know where we are on the map. So we're trying to figure that out. We're going across the Kat Kat Bridge now and I don't know, it looks pretty... Sketchy. Sketchy. Even these children across are walking quite slowly. Oh, it's literally so, uh, just, it's just wood, like you can see right through. It's a pretty long way down. Ah! We have no idea where we're going, we are lost in the Kakat village. Uh, we're just walking along the river, um, we think there's a waterfall somewhere but we don't know if we're going the wrong way. No, we can't really uh, navigate this map very well. This is pretty cool. They've got like the little, are they windmills? That's what they call them? They're like water turbines. Yeah. Well, this is pretty cool. This place is pretty cute. We made it down to the riverside now where the big waterfall is. There's loads of cute little restaurants. They've all got the same wooden design, the same as the wooden bridge and the wooden walkways. I don't know if you can hear me because the waterfall is very loud. It's been raining a lot over the past few days, so there's a lot of water in the river right now. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how much I trust this wooden bridge. It seems very bouncy and very thin. Definitely very homemade, so be careful where you're walking. I don't know how safe this is. Oh my god, it's just bounced. <laughs> this is a little bit scary. It's in the shape of a heart, which is very kin. There's no railings and it's a little bit bouncy up here. Yeah, this is not safe at all. No. <laughs> so they do daily performances in here with the umbrellas, like dances and stuff. But we're going to miss them because we're here at the island shower. Yeah. So the next one isn't for like another hour and a half. And we're starving, so we're going to head back up and try and get some food. <laughs> this is where we were standing earlier, where you can see the view of the rice terraces. And it just shows how fast it gets foggy. It's also very, very rainy here now, so you're soaking wet. The rain has got progressively worse. Ooh. So we've bought some ponchos. <laughs> Not letting this rain ruin our day. It is got rain enough. Well, it seems like things around there so the rain doesn't go in. This was funny with the money. They were already like a less than a pound each. Let me go for my hood down. <laughs> oh. 
Ready now? We can make sure the hood's are I got right. the green. You might knock over your hat. <laughs> We are fully ready. We look so stupid. Why do we do this? There's a lot of people who are also wearing ponchos. Are they? I haven't seen any except for most bike riders. Well, we're wearing them now. How funny do we look right now? <laughs> <laughs> We've made it into Sap Station and the building from the outside looks really cool. It's like a, it's got like a really European vibe. Yeah, it really stands out compared to the rest of Sap as well. Yeah, it's really grand, really yellow, really bright. It just looks really cool. Yeah. But we've come inside. You can catch the funicular um, up to the cable cart station. But we're not going to do that today because of the weather, so we won't have any views. It's quite expensive as well. I think if it was a lot cheaper, we may have just done it anyway, just to have the experience of going in the vehicle and the cable car. But seeing as it is quite expensive, it's not worth it because we aren't going to get any views. Yeah, when we were walking back up from the Catcat Village earlier, the fog, you couldn't see the cable car or no. the funicular because of the fog so we won't get any views so we're not going to bother doing that but we are going to just take a walk around and see what's in here probably take these off first though yeah the only issue now is we've got these really wet ponchos dripping everywhere in this really posh building yeah we're at the station now which is behind us but it's not there so we're not going to wait around because we're not getting it but on the way to the station there's loads of these little stalls trying to sell you like little souvenirs and stuff it's pretty cool they look really cheap as well but we've come up to the second floor now and i think there's a shopping mall here well, well there's restaurants up there isn't yeah it? the restaurant bar's closed but maybe over here is open let's keep walking find out it's not really much of a shopping mall as such it's just a long hallway with a bunch of Little what seems stalls. to be just like active wear. Yeah, yeah. active wear and souvenirs. Souvenirs, yeah, hats and toys. <laughs> that was a little bit of a quick visit to the Sapa station there, but we're going to escape the rain for a bit and dry off. We are going to head back out later because we've seen that the town does look amazing, all lit up in the dark. So yeah. we're going to head up, but we're going to dry off. A couple of hours and then head back out later. Chill out for a bit, yeah. Guys, all our stuff is starting to smell a bit damp. Cassie's already been the socks have. from yesterday because they were just wet and there's no like air flowing in here. No, because obviously it's if, even if there was, it would be cold air as well. So our stuff just isn't drying and it's been raining in the past couple of days, which isn't great. We were planning on going to Halong Bay, but we're not really sure whether we're going to do that or not. Yeah, we were supposed to be going tomorrow, but with the weather the way it is, I think we are going into rainy season and. It looks as if it's just going to be raining, so we're not even sure if we're going to be doing that or not. So we don't know. We we have no. We we don't know what we're doing. We've got flights planned back to the UK in yeah. seven or eight days. Yeah. Um, and we've got two stop. We had Halong Bay and Hanoi left, so we don't know. We we we're not sure. No, we may just have to end up spending a few lot more days in Hanoi. Yeah. But I think we're going to have a little look online at what the weather's going to be like in Halong over the next couple of days and hopefully we'll be able to squeeze it in because it's somewhere we've really wanted to go yeah. since coming here but we just think if the weather's not great and it's raining it's just going to take away the whole experience isn't it? Yeah. So we'll see. I'm not going to lie guys there's nothing I want more than not to go up right now. <laughs> The rain sounds absolutely horrendous. It's freezing cold. We've had to put our wet clothes back on to back out in the rain. We need to get money. We need to get something to eat. And we want to show you around in the dark. So we're <laughs> going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one around. It's absolutely dead on you. And it's like half seven, eight o'clock. So you'd think it would be like peak time for people to, you know, come out for food and a couple of drinks, but People obviously had the right idea and stayed in, which is probably what we should have done. Yeah, but we need something to eat. Yeah, so let's go and do that. Even if it's just something from the supermarket and taking it back. Yeah, this weather is just not on it.
Okay, guys, we are back in our little capsule now. Our last night here, I've got to say, I thoroughly enjoyed our little capsule experience. Yeah, me too. I don't know if you can see me, I'm all the way back here. <laughs> but we're back here, we've got our like, we've got our pizza each, uh, we've got lots of snacks, so we're just gonna have a movie night. It's already like nine o'clock, so yeah. we're probably gonna eat this and then watch I'll, a film watch and a film, yeah. head to bed because we are leaving supper tomorrow. We are back on Disney Plus as well as Netflix now, so we are watching some Jungle Book. Yeah, we are we are big Disney fans. So yeah, we are gonna end it here. If you are new around here, please hit subscribe, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in the next one.